Ghana currently imports over 400,000 metric tons of fish annually to meet a TLA fish demand of 880,000 metric tons. However, fish farmers who are helping the country to cut down on fish imports say they are currently not enjoying any government support as is the case for crop farmers under the Plantain for Food and Jobs program. City News' Akwesie Jainim finds out how a fish farmer in Takrade is making gains without a deliberate government support. For many people, fishing is largely an activity that takes place at sea. However, in the western region alone, there are over 300 people engaged in fish farming of special fish species which are gradually becoming scarce at sea. They are thus contributing significantly to meet Ghana's annual fish supply gap of over 400,000 metric tons. These are mullet fish just harvested from one of the fish ponds here at the Banini Farms, located not far away from the Takrade Air Force Base and also not far from the banks of the Huin River, uh, also here in Takrade. Even though this particular fish fish is so much uh, crucial to the cuisine of many of the hotels around, the fish pond, or should I say the fish farmers, are not getting the needed support from the government's agricultural subsidy that is actually going into the planting for food and jobs. I'm here with uh, Mr. Banini, who is the owner of this fish farm, to tell me what actually goes on here and uh, the support that uh, they, they, they actually need here. Well, the pond that we just harvested from is carrying about 5,000 mallets. And then the one to my right is carrying about uh, 5,000 groupers. And then we have about 10,000 snappers also. These are very unusual uh, fish uh, species you are telling me about. I mean, how crucial are they to the cuisines of uh, households and the hotels around? Well, these are fishes that normally the hotels import from abroad. Uh, with the uh, very scarce resources that foreign re uh, resources that we have, so the aim of Banini Farms is to produce these fishes right here in the country, uh, to reduce how much fish we import into the country. But for this farm, they would have to import all these uh, fishes from uh, foreign countries, you know, and uh, they have to harvest them there, put them in refrigerators, uh, transport them over months to get to Ghana. The quality of the fish becomes so bad, but from here from the pond straight away to the table. So the interval between harvest and the, the, the consumption is so short, and that, that improves the quality of what they also give to their customers. Government currently has a program to support the youth in fish farming, but those already in the sector, like Mr. Banini, says they have no support, and so they depend on worms to feed their fingerlings. Yeah, the cost of feed for snappers and groupers, very high because of their protein needs. So it's very expensive to get feed for them. Um, there's a ban on importation of their fingerlings into the country. So you have to uh, produce the fingerlings yourself and the facility for production is not well developed in our country. So it's very, very difficult to, to get them. So what are you using to feed them right now? Right now we are using worms and insects that we produce ourselves because of the protein demand. So we, we have to produce worms and insects to feed them. But the pelleted feed has um, uh, more nutrients. Apart from the protein, they have more nutrients and uh, they make the fish grow faster. We know there's uh, plenty for food and uh, jobs, uh, which is actually supporting uh, those into I mean, uh, crop farming and all that. For fish farming, are you getting any support? And uh, what support I mean, would you need? Uh, for now, we are not getting any support from governments. We've heard uh, about the planting for food and jobs. We are yet to... Uh, have any support from government. While Prison City TV's Operation Feed Yourself campaign for the consumption of local rice, Friends of the Nation, a civil society group, is calling for support for fish farmers to reduce Ghana's huge fish import. The Operation um, Feed Yourself campaign by uh, City TV um, is a, a double one, and I, I, I think it is uh, very timely. One of the key aspects of the agriculture sector that has been left out for this campaign is the fishing industry. You know, Ghana is one of the highest consumers of fish in the world. Uh, on the average, annually, each Ghanaian consumes about 23 kilograms of fish in a year. Unfortunately, 
our demand for fish is about 880,000 metric tons. But we are not able to meet the demand, so we need to import up to half, which is about 400,000 metric, 400, metric tons into this country. And that also has a stress on our, on our foreign um, exchange and also stress on our, on our city. So it is important that this operation feed yourself. We also look at how the country can boost its fishing industry to be able to meet the, the local demands. And all the key areas that we need to look at, one, one, we need to address the issues of overfishing, we need to address the issues of, of overcapacity, we need to address the issues of illegality uh, in our fishing business. For Mr. Banini, aside from helping to reduce the country's fish imports, fish farmers fill the gap for the seasons when fishing catch at sea is low, hence the need for them to be supported. The cost of importing fish to the country, the country is so high. Uh, production of fish in the country, we've not been able to meet even 50% of our consumption. So fish farmers are in to close that gap. So to help the country save a lot of money, government should intervene and help the fish farmers to produce more. And then also the ban on fishing during the, the, the off-season where fishermen are not allowed to go to sea is the fish farmers that produce fish to feed the country. So we are here to, to come in when, when the, the local fishermen cannot go to, to sea. So if government intervenes and we produce more, during the off-season, the country will not be stranded. Because during that season, the country really has to import a lot of fish into the country to, 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 to put on the table of the populace. So just as government is doing for farmers, you know, crop farmers, uh, through the plenty for food and jobs, we, we are pleading with government to also assist us, the fishermen. Uh, by providing us the inputs that we need to produce more. If government can help us with feed and other logistics, that, that will help us to produce more to meet the needs of the country. With a crucial role of fish farmers in helping to bridge the gap between the over 440,000 metric tons of fish stock that the country needs per annum, it justifies the demands for government to actually consider fish farmers in the area of support so that they can also help in strengthening the city. For City News, I'm Akwesejeni, Takrade.